How deadly is the AIM 7F Sparrow? The missile that ended the Cold War. Saddam Hussein's nemesis. Still in service after 70 years. The AIM SF Sparrow. The AIM-7 Sparrow is a missile that can attack high-performance aircraft and missiles from any direction. A versatile, all-weather, all-altitude operational capability missile. It's a missile that works come rain, come shine. But wait, how deadly do you think this missile is? Before we get into that, let's look at the build of this missile. What are its main features and how did it come into existence? A little bit of history. The Sparrow has four major sections, guidance section, warhead control, and rocket motor. It has the shape of a cylindrical body with four wings at mid-body and four tail fins. It's a missile best suited for long-range targets and can be launched from over 15 kilometers away. A good range, right? Yes. The Sparrow is an extremely long-range missile that can track its target for over 75 seconds. Additionally, the missile can also retain its speed for long periods, meaning it keeps its 25G maneuvering capability, often until the target gets hit. It initially joined the Air Force as a primary medium-range air-to-air missile for the F-15 Eagle. The Sparrow was also one of the two most widely used air-to-air missiles in the U.S. Navy for more than 40 years. The AIM-9 Sidewinder was the other one. It was so effective that many other foreign ministries also adopted it. The AIM SF Sparrow was an improved version of the earlier AIM 7E Sparrow missile with enhanced range and performance. It used a semi active radar seeker to home in on the radar signal emitted by the enemy aircraft, and it had a high explosive warhead designed to destroy the target upon impact. Although early model Sparrow missiles had a very poor combat record with less than 10% kill probability during the Vietnamese War, but from the AIM SF onward, that changed because solid state electronics were used and combat effectiveness improved drastically. Late model Sparrows have a maximum range of about 45 kilometers, although under optimal conditions, 70 kilometers could be achieved. The Sparrow was widely used by the U.S. military and its allies during the Cold War, and it saw action in numerous conflicts including the Vietnam War and the Gulf War. Although it was initially made in 1946, it's still in service more than 70 years later, even though the model has been modified severally. Over the years, the external dimensions of the Sparrow remain relatively unchanged from model to model, but the internal components of newer missiles are where most of the improvements have taken place. It has improved reliability and performance over earlier models at low altitudes and in electronic countermeasure environments. It has also gotten a significantly more lethal warhead. Both Italy and Great Britain developed modified versions. Italy developed the Aspide and Great Britain developed the Skyflash. China also derived its LY-60 PL-10 family of missiles from Italian Aspides. The Soviets also copied from the Sparrow to develop the K-25 air-to-air missile, which didn't make it into production. So as you can see, it was a pioneer that inspired other missiles. The Sparrow had enough growth potential that it remains in naval service. The system was so important that radars on board the F-14 Tomcat and F-A-18 Hornet were both modified to provide illumination for Sparrow missile seekers. The most common version after our dear missile, the AIM-7F, was AIM-7M. In this case, M stands for monopulse, the radar transmitting a single pulse only. An upgraded version of the AIM-7M is the AIM-7P, which incorporates a data link so that it can be fired without first locking on. The Sparrow can be launched from most U.S. fighter aircraft developed during the Cold War, including the F-4 Phantom, F-14 Tomcat, F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, and F-A-18 Hornet. Additionally, it can be used on various Western aircraft, such as the F-104S Starfighter, Vegan, Tornado F-3 and Japanese F-2. So just how deadly is the AIM-7F Sparrow? Let's explain it with a short story. The year was 1990. Saddam Hussein had just decided to stir the waters of the Gulf once again by invading the adjacent state of Kuwait. 
The Americans, with the secondary contribution of Britain, France, Egypt, Saudi, and many other forces, were called to the rescue. And which missile did they use? None other than the Sparrow. The first stages of the war are dominated by a massive air campaign, and at the end of the war, just a few months later, the Sparrow had an impressive 68.2% hit rate and a kill rate of 59.1%. Impressive. For comparison, a similar missile, the AIM-120, was employed for the first time in December 1992, and so far has achieved a kill ratio between 40% and 50%. This just shows how deadly the Sparrow really is. Despite its age, the AIM-7F Sparrow remains a significant part of the history of air-to-air -air missiles, and it's remembered for its role in defending US and Allied air assets during the Cold War. Did you witness the Cold War, or did you only read about it? Tell us in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and of course subscribe with notifications on. And if you don't, we might just send a Sparrow your way. Have a wonderful day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.